Grab a seat. It's good to see you, Marcus. We've never met up outside of work before. How is that? Didn't know much to talk about, I guess. Until now. You're here early. Try not to do that in the future. What the hell do you mean in future? You told me this was a once-off, Will. A once-off for 10 grand? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You must be simple if you thought 10 G's was worth the risk of walking out onto the casino floor with a briefcase full of cash. You guaranteed me it would work. And it went smoothly, didn't it? The counting room was empty when I told you it would be. I know all of these things before anybody else. Security managers get a generous amount of responsibility. How do you know we can get away with this? How can I just waltz back into work and act like nothing happened? Don't lose the plot, Marcus. That would be dangerous for both of us. Do you think you're a special snowflake? You are an entry-level bean counter for a billion dollar enterprise. Every day, thousands of people walk through those doors to dump their cash on the tables for the sheer cheap thrill of flipping cards. I didn't realize what a cold bastard you are, Will. Don't get sanctimonious. You and I are in this together now, bub. And this is just the opening act. Once things cool off, we're gonna do it again, and again, and again. Me and we're gonna be doing this again. You're mad, I shouldn't have listened to you. I shouldn't have caved in. You needed the cash. It's for my mum, she needs care. I'm not greedy. Whatever. You did the crime, and now thanks to me, it's going under the rug to stay. Might I remind you that you were the one who physically took the cash? It was all your idea. I was happy working hard and getting by on my own. You were as keen as mustard. You've been breaking your back for the last two months trying to keep dear old mum in clean nappies. Don't talk about my mother. Calm down. I didn't mean anything by it. You think you can bully me into doing your dirty work? I don't need to bully anyone. I need only lift the rug. My role in this is hands off. And that's why your share is less. What? Not fully me. As if I could drag you down with me if this whole thing blew up. How could I have done it without help from above? Don't get stupid ideas. So, let's say I cooperate. We make this a regular thing. Small cash bundles and used notes. You give me the window to get away. It's nothing crazy. We're not bank robbers. 10, 15 grand every few months, ongoing, as long as I can arrange a swipe. And uh, no one from up high takes a closer look at the ledgers. Because if that were to happen... Wouldn't be so good for you, would it? Maybe. Maybe not. But you can bet I'd be coming to see you quick smart about it. I run this show. And you take 40%. <laughs> and I get the rest. No rearrangements, no dirty deals. I'm the one risking his neck with the evidence. I'm the one on camera. I get more. You're smarter than they are, Marcus. You've got a knack for the hard jobs. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Will. These are the breaks. If you want this scheme of yours to run smoothly, you better start to show some respect to your other half. Other half? No, 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 no. You almost had me there for a moment. But you've jumped the shark, Mark. I've got insurance on this. And now you're going to really learn how to play ball. Dougie! In here. Doug here is my other half. And you're working with him as well. So I suggest you start showing the both of us some damn respect. Who the hell are you? Australian Federal Police. And your new boss. I didn't want to do this, Marcus. But you're acting above your station, okay? Let's see the badge then. How's a 40 calibre Smith & Wesson for a fucking badge? It's a real showstopper. AFP Dublin theft now. I mostly see the homicides. Dougie here is my insurance. But you see, Marcus, 
Insurance costs money. And anything can happen when you're not careful. To you, to your loved ones. Dementia makes people do strange things. Don't talk about my mother. Then listen up. Things are going to proceed as normal. I'll contact you in a few weeks with the next available time window. You are going to stroll into work just like normal. You keep your head down and wait for my signal. You don't even know where I stored the loot. Oh, you are really starting to piss me off. I think you made a mistake with this one, Will. I got to oh. Hold on, smooth moves. We don't need to fight, do we, Doug? Get this through your head, Marcus. You do not want to rock the boat. You only get one warning about this. Take a few days off and get your head straight. And when you've come round to seeing what a grave error you almost just made, I want to see you back at work. Sure, Will. Now piss off. Jesus, Will, where do you find these people? Gentlemen, there's just one more thing. Get on the floor! Get down, you're under arrest. 